Good morning, everyone! It is such a nice sunny day that I finally get to do a video. Because, as you can read in the title, I got the package. And I get to unbox. But this is technically an unbagging because it's, it's not a box, it's a bag. I don't believe I told you this, but I ordered two things from Hot Topic. Because I wasn't. There is a hot. I have. I did. I. I have told you that there is a hot topic in my local mall. But to me, the prices are so outrageous. I don't want to buy them in my Canadian store. I'd rather buy them online and do it that way. And like the price for buying the stuff seems a little more more normal to me even though there is the exchange rate between the American dollars and Canadian dollars because the website is only in Canadian dollars so I was only I would try to do this through my PayPal but for some reason PayPal was not working and when like I couldn't even go to add funds to my PayPal account for some reason I had to get someone from their technical support team to give me the actual website link thing to the page so that it would let me to add funds. And so when I eventually had funds in there, I went to go through the PayPal button on Hot Topics website. So like I would purchase, use, uh, uh, bleh, I would use PayPal. But for some reason it said it couldn't do it, like it kept saying error, error, error. Which was kind of stupid because I had the sufficient funds in my PayPal account. And it took like eight days to get into there, and then it takes another like six, not something like that, six to eight days to take it out of the account and put it back in my bank account. Which is so freaking annoying. But I did, I think I showed you this like a long while ago, but I did get my debit card changed into a visa debit card so i can use it just like a visa card on websites and that's how i bought this it's only two things because of the amount of money i put on my in my account to use for that so we're going to open this now um well i would get my receipt out Just posted paid online. Yes, I did. Let's go over there. I don't need to take care of that. This definitely needs to be taken off. I sure did, so people don't know. Don't go trying to look for me. And attempt at harming me or kidnapping me or other kind of crazies scary stuff that people might use with my address. And it also has my phone number on it, so I want to get rid of that too. And looks like I can't, so that kind of sucks. Alright. Now, I have- I don't know if it would be with- I need to worry about this, but I watched an episode of Ingrid Nielsen, or um, Miss Glamorazzi same person but she changed her YouTube name um, she had ordered something from Bath and Body Works and like one or a few of the candles she got broke but I don't have any candles in here but I'm just concerned about maybe like the breakage what are we doing what's going on This is all wrapped up stuff. Coupon here. Ten dollars off your next purchase of forty dollars or more. Too bad I can't use this. Well, I might be able to use this. But I don't think I'll be able to because it expires this Saturday. We're 
we're gonna put that over there with all the papers. And that's all, except for this little bag. Go over there. I'm kind of excited because I haven't gotten anything from Hot Topic since, oh, a number of years ago when I went to Myrtle Beach and I went to the Hot Topic there and bought my plaid mini skirt with the chain on it and the studded belt thing on it. So many years ago. And I love it, it still fits me and it's so beautiful, but I haven't gotten anything from Hot Topic because there had never been a Hot Topic here in Canada. Especially not one. Sorry, that was actually near me. So. so this that I just pulled out is by the brand Lovesick. That's done through Hot Topic, basically. It's, uh, I bought an ear cuff. And it's a copper dragon ear cuff. It's our frizzle. It's our frizzle. It's our frizzle. I just don't know how I'm gonna. Oh, maybe. Oh, and look, there's a stud so I can stick it in my ear. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I'm totally, I'm totally, okay, I'm gonna try this on right now just to show you what it looks like on my ear. You wanna be careful of these little, ugh, tiny little thingies here, women. Well, anyone who wears earrings. Because these are kind of a lifesaver. This was also on sale too, so it's like originally $8.50 and the this is um the US prices and then it came and then these both of them were eight fifty. And then they both came to with their sale or discount thing going on. Something. Um, it, they came to 612 which considering like see how big this is it's supposed to cover your entire ear I think it's a relatively nice good okay price okay, first let's get the earring part in my ear because it might help with that take the butterfly piece and depending on how you feel, you can usually e either use the butterfly backing. And a butterfly backing is... It looks like this. It's not an actual butterfly, but this is what the, the backing is called. Or use, if it comes with both, Use the uh, the little rubber one. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable with both, but sometimes you just want to have like ah. <laughs> I'm using my webcam, so it's a little disconcerting a bit. And you always just want to be careful of how much bending you want to do. Because, like, if you bend it too many times, it's going to, like, you know, it's going to break off. I'm just gonna go see what it looks like in an actual mirror. Okay, so here's it is. Now the top piece is giving me a little difficulty, but it's not like it's not hurting. It might, but it might hurt um, by the end. Maybe like after wearing it all day or something. And you also want to wear ear cuffs for about as long as you want to wear them, for how long of a comfort level you want. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know when I'm wearing it too, but... 
I like cool things. And I have- if you're women and have long hair and tend to get these little parts here, I had these like popping up over top of covering his face so we just pulled them down and we have our little dragon was uncovered. Now, I have one more thing because I bought two and it's the one that I want to the most. I actually put it in a little baggie because it is a necklace. So I take it out of one bag and then I have to take it out of another bag. If I can get it open. And I love copper. Like, I'm just recently I'm thinking about, like, I think for, like, um, I think about two, maybe three years ago, my grandma got me two earrings, which were, like, copper color. Like, this, like, burnt gold coppery coloring. And they were, um, they look like Native American stuff because they had like metal feathers coming down and like um, a dream catcher ball right here and came down. It was so gorgeous. I loved it so much. But somehow I lost the one of the earrings and it just like, ah, oh, it totally sucks. And like when she bought me that thing, it's like I realized I really like coppery kind of art or like this like distressed gold kind of colors. I don't like gold, but I like this stuff. And it, okay, my dragon actually almost looks like a seahorse. Anyway, this is also by the same brand, Lovesick. And as I said, it's a necklace and it's a very long chained owl. And it's not just an owl. It's a watch, too. I don't wear watches, and I usually use my phone. But, um, this year and possibly last year, I think it started last year, um, I had been watching people, like, uh, when I bought my white lace dress and my champagne colored mini skirt. I started watching Bethany Mota's uh, YouTube videos, as I told you, and she had like these, um, she showed off like owl watch, owl necklaces, not the owl watch, but like owl necklaces and stuff like that, like on these long chains and like this kind of like copper burnt gold color. It's like, that is so completely gorgeous. I want it so much, but I believe, um, this kind of stuff doesn't come around till like the fall, but this um, this was still at Hot Topic, so I'm guessing it's kind of like a all year round type of jewelry they have at their store possibly, but like other owl type of necklaces and like this burnt copper setting, I'd have to wait till fall, but I don't have I. For other stuff, like just plain owl type of necklaces and like on these long chains, I'll have to wait till fall, but until then I have this little guy. And um, once, like, if I don't have like uh, my phone on me, I can easily like flip this up and open him up to check the time. Hmm, excuse me. And he still has his little ears on the top of his head when you open him. Twelve. This is all. This is not the right time because it says eleven twenty. And it's going. And oh, it has this little plastic thing on its bottom so that this doesn't turn or something. I'm just, okay, I'm so happy with this purchase. Ugh. This off. And I, okay, when I saw these things with the long necklace, necklace, it's just like, this is totally perfect. I love these things. And let's get you back there. 
because I could just slip this over my head and it's nice and long. I don't know why, but I'm now fascinated with like long necklaces and these decorations here. Alright, for some reason this is not on kind of correctly. I think it needed another loop so that this would lie flat better, but one oh well. I don't mind. I am very happy with my purchases. And um at the time both of these at least this one of these were out of stock, so they do go out of stock, but this um they both came they both got more stock obviously, which is why I'm able to buy them. So I like my purchases, even though you, this little guy looks like a seahorse. He's a dragon. Oh, there we go. He, he has his mouth open. Yeah. So, I'm actually going to take this off my ear, because I don't really need this on all day. But I will I will do that in a bit, little bit. So, I plan on attempting to purchase this one last book from Better World Books because I am in need of it. I'm not in need of it so badly, but I do need it. It's the last book in the series that I have. <sighs> and it's going to take the majority of my money, so I need to get it because it costs like... Sometimes it costs like $150 and it's a children's book and probably a bit of an excuse yeah, obscure book. Like it wasn't all that popular, so I don't know why they're making it cost like so much money sometimes. But that is going to be my next big purchase because right now I've got to save up for other stuff. Like right, I really want to save up for a camera, and I need to get a um a splinter uh, uh, HDMI cable so it has one one end will have like a one cord and the other end will have like four other things so I can attach other HDMI functioning stuff so I think my dad is home because coach just went downstairs I would end this now I will see you all later possibly probably in my next um, book review video and maybe it will possibly be at night. Most likely. Bye!